Grenache or Garnacha IPA, on nata, is one of the most widely planted red wine grape varieties in the world. It ripens late, so it needs hot, dry conditions such as those found in Spain, where the grape most likely originated. It is also grown in the Italian Isle of Sardinia, the south of France, Australia, and California's San Joaquin Valley. It is generally spicy, berry flavored and soft on the palate and produces wine with a relatively high alcohol content, but it needs careful control of yields for best results. Characteristic flavor profiles on Grenache include red fruit flavors raspberry and strawberry with a subtle, white pepper spice note. Grenache wines are highly prone to oxidation with even young examples having the potential to show browning or bricking. Coloration that can be noticed around the rim when evaluating the wine at an angle in the glass. As Grenache ages the wines tend to take on more leather and tar flavors. Wines made from Grenache tend to lack acid, tannin and color, and it is often blended with other varieties such as Syrah, Carignan, Tempranilla, and Cinso. In Spain, there are monovarietal wines made of Garnacha Tinta red Grenache, notably in the southern Aragon wine regions of Calatayud, Carinena and Campo de Borja, but it is also used in blends, as in some Rioja wines with Tempranilla. Grenache is the dominant variety in most southern Rhone wines, especially in Chateauneuf du Pape where it is typically over 80% of the blend. In Australia it is typically blended in GSM. Blends with Syrah, commonly known as Shiraz in that country, and Morvedra with old vine examples in McLaren Vale. In Italy, the Sardinian DOC wine Cananao di Sardegna is by law 99% local Grenache Cananao. Grenache is also used to make rosé wines in France and Spain, notably those of the Tavel district in the Côtes du Rhône and those of the Navarra region. And the high sugar levels of Grenache have led to extensive use in fortified wines, including the red vins du naturels of Roussillon such as Banyuls, and is the basis of most Australian fortified wine. History Grenache or Garnacha as it is known in Spain most likely originated in the region of Aragon in northern Spain, according to ampelographical evidence. Plantings probably spread from the original birthplace to Catalonia and other lands under the crown of Aragon such as Sardinia and Roussillon in southern France. An early synonym for the vine was Tinto Aragonese red of Aragon. The grape is known as Cananao in Sardinia, where it is claimed that it originated there and spread to other Mediterranean lands under Aragon rule. Grenache, under its Spanish synonym Garnacha, was already well established on both sides of the Pyrenees when the Roussillon region was annexed by France. From there the vine made its way through the Languedoc and to the southern Rhône region where it was well established by the 19th century. Despite its prevalence in nearby Navarra and Catalonia, Garnacha was not widely planted in the Rioja till the early 20th century as vineyards were replanted following the phylloxera epidemic. Grenache was one of the first varieties to be introduced to Australia in the 18th century and eventually became the country's most widely planted red wine grape variety until it was surpassed by Shiraz in the mid 1960s. Early Australian Grenache was a main component in the sweet fortified wines that was the linchpin of the early Australian wine industry. In the 19th century, California wine growers prized the vine's ability to produce high yields and withstand heat and drought conditions. The grape was extensively planted throughout the hot San Joaquin Valley where it was mainly used as a blending component for pale, sweet jug wines. In the late 20th century, the Rhone Rangers movement brought attention to the production of premium varietal Grenache and Rhone style blends modeled after the Grenache dominate wines of Chateauneuf du Pape. In the early 20th century, Grenache was one of the first Vitus vinifera grapes to be successfully vinified during the early development of the Washington wine industry with a 1966 Yakima Valley Rosé earning mention in wine historian Leon Adams' treatise The Wines of America. Viticulture The Grenache vine is characterized by its strong wood canopy and upright growth. It has good wind tolerance which is useful with the northerly Cierzo and Mistral winds that influence the regions of Aragon and the Rhone and has shown itself to be very suited for the dry, warm windy climate around the Mediterranean. The vine buds early and requires a long growing season in order to fully ripen. Grenache is often one of the last grapes to be harvested, often ripening weeks after Cabernet Sauvignon. 
The long ripening process allows the sugars in the grape to reach high levels, making Grenache-based wines capable of substantial alcohol levels, often at least 15% ABV. While the vine is generally vigorous, it is susceptible to various grape diseases that can affect the yield and quality of the grape production such as coulor, bunch rot and downy mildew due to the vine's tight grape clusters. Marginal and wet climates can increase Grenache's propensity to develop these viticultural dangers. The vine's drought resistance is dependent on the type of rootstock it is planted on but on all types of rootstocks, Grenache seems to respond favorably to some degree of water stress. Grenache prefers hot, dry soils that are well drained but it relatively adaptable to all vineyard soil types. In southern France, Grenache thrives on schist and granite soils and has responded well to the stony soil of Chateauneuf du Pape with the area's Galles Roulets heat retaining stones. In Priorat, the crumbly schist soil of the region retain enough water to allow producers to avoid irrigation in the dry wine region. Vineyards with an overabundance of irrigation tend to produce pale-colored wines with diluted flavors and excessive alcohol. The skin of Grenache is thin and lightly pigmented, making wines with pale color and low tannins. Older vines with low yields can increase the concentration of phenolic compounds and produced darker, more tannic wines such as those found in the Priorat region of Spain where yields are often around 5 to 6 hectoliters, hectare less than half a ton per acre. Yield control is intimately connected with the resulting quality of wine with yields below 35 hectoliters per hectare 2 tons, acre, such as those practiced by many Chateauneuf du Pape estates, producing very different wines than those with yields closer to 50 hectoliters per hectare 5 tons, acre, which is the base yield for Appellation d'Origine Controle AOC wines labeled under the Côtes du Rhône designation. The strong wood canopy of Grenache makes the vine difficult to harvest with mechanical harvesters and pruning equipment and more labor intensive to cultivate. In highly mechanized wine regions, such as Australia and California, this has contributed to a decline in the vine's popularity. <laughs> Mutants and crosses Over centuries, the Grenache vine has produced color mutation vines with berries of all range of colors. While Grenache Noir or Red Grenache is the most well-known, Grenache Blanc or White Grenache is a very important grape variety in France where it is the fourth most widely planted white variety after Ugni Blanc, Chardonnay and Semelin. Like Grenache Noir, it is a permitted variety in the blends of Chateauneuf du Pape. In southern France and Sardinia, the mutants Grenache Rose and Grenache Gris are also found making pale rosé and lightly tinted white wines. Hairy Grenache, Garnacha Paluta as known in Spain, is a Grenache variant evolved to grow fuzz on the underside of its leaves to protect the vine from transpiration in hot climates. Like the corresponding fuzz on rosemary or other Mediterranean plants. Compared to its more widely planted cousin, it produces wines lower in alcohol and higher in acidity that show spicy and savory notes more readily as they age. It was not widely replanted after phylloxera as it was not well adapted to making the vins du naturels see fortified wine that were all the rage at the time. The vine known as Garnacha Tinterera is a synonym for the Tenturier grape Alicante which is a crossing of Grenache and Petit Bauchette. In 1961, a cross between Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon produced the French wine grape Marcelin. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Winemaking. Grenache is often used as a blending component, adding body and sweet fruitiness to a wine. The grape can be troublesome for the winemaker due to tendency to oxidize easily and lose color. To compensate for the grape's naturally low tannins and phenolic compounds, some producers will use excessively harsh pressing and hot fermentation with stems to extract the maximal amount of color and phenols from the skins. This can backfire to produce green, herbaceous flavors and coarse, astringent wine lacking the grape's characteristic vibrant fruitiness. To maintain those character traits, Grenache responds best to a long, slow fermentation at cooler temperatures followed by a maceration period. To curb against oxidation, the wine should be racked as little as possible. The use of new oak barrels can help with retaining color and preventing oxidation, but too much oak influence can cover up the fruitiness of Grenache. The high levels of sugars and lack of harsh tannins makes Grenache well adapted to the production of fortified wines, such as the Vin du Naturels (VDN) of the Roussillon region and the 
port style wines of Australia. In these wines, the must ferments for three days before grape spirit is added to the must to halt the fermentation and the conversion of sugar into alcohol. The high alcoholic proof grape spirit brings the finished wine up to 15-16% alcohol. These wines can be made in a rancio style by being left outside in glass demi-johns or carboys or wooden barrels where the wine bakes in the sun for several years until it develops a matterized character and flavors of sour raisins, nuts and cheese. These fortified VDNs and port-style wines have longevity and can be drinkable well into their third decade. Wine regions Grenache is one of the most widely planted red wine grape varieties in the world with France and Spain being its largest principal wine regions. In the late 20th century, total acreage of Grenache in Spain has been on the decline with the vineyards being uprooted in lieu of the more fashionable Tempranilla, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Between the late 1980s and 2004, Spanish plantings dropped from 420,000 acres (170,000 hectares) to 203,370 acres (82,300 hectares), allowing France with its 236,500 acres (95,700 hectares) to assume the mantle as the world's largest source of Grenache. As of 2000, Grenache was the third most widely planted red wine grape variety in France, behind Merlot and Carignan. From French nurseries, Grenache has become the fourth most widely propagated vine with more than 23 million cuttings sold since 1998 according to French ampelographer Pierre Gallet. France In France, Grenache is most widely associated with the wines of the Rhône and southern France. Its history in the Rhône can be traced to the influence of Burgundian wine merchants in the 17–18th centuries who were seeking a blending variety to add body and alcohol content to their light body wines. Grenache, with its propensity for high alcohol and high yields, fit those desire nicely and was widely planted in the Châteauneuf du Pape and Gigandas and Vaquaras regions. Today Grenache is most widely planted in the Languedoc-Roussillon region where it is widely blended with Carignan, Cinso, Syrah and Morvedre. The vine also has sizable plantings in the Drôme department. The vine's strong, hard wood and affinity for bush vine training allows it to thrive in the Mistral-influenced southern Rhône regions of Châteauneuf-du-Pape and Gigandas. In Chateauneuf du Pape, Grenache Noir is the most common variety of the 13 permitted varieties, although some producers in recent years have been using a higher proportion of Morvedre. Grenache produces a sweet juice that can have almost a jam like consistency when very ripe. Syrah is typically blended to provide color and spice, while Morvedre can add elegance and structure to the wine. The grape's thin skin and pale coloring makes it well suited for the production of full bodied, fruit rose wines. Grenache is the principal grape behind the rosés of Tavel and Lirac and it plays an important role in the Provence region as well. In the Roussillon region, Grenache Noir and its Gris and Blanc mutations are used in the production of the fortified Vin du Naturels of Bagnoules and Mori. The characteristic of French Grenache-based wines depends largely on the selection of its blending partners and can range from the spicy richness associated with Chateauneuf du Pape to the chewy fruitiness associated with basic Côtes du Rhône villages. Other regions with sizable plantings of Grenache include the Appellation d'Origine Controle AOC regions of Minervois, Fatou and Corbières. Topic: <inaudible> Spain. In Spain, Grenache is known as Garnacha and given the likely history of the grape, this is most likely the grape's original name, although the Ray gives Italian Vernaccia as the etymology. There are several clonal varieties of Garnacha with the thin-skinned, dark-colored Garnacha tinta sometimes spelled tinto being the most common. Another variety, known as Garnacha paluta or hairy Grenache, due to the soft hairy texture on the underside of the vine's leaves is also found in Spain, mostly in Borja and Carignana Aragon. Compared to its more widely planted cousin, it produces wines lower in alcohol and higher in acidity that show spicy and savory notes more readily as they age. Widely planted in northeastern and central Spain, Garnacha was long considered a workhorse grape of low quality suitable for blending. 
In the late 20th century, the success of the Garnacha-based wines from Priorat in Catalonia as well as the emerging international attention given to the New World Rhone Rangers sparked a re-evaluation of this workhorse variety. Today it is the third most widely planted red grape variety in Spain behind Tempranilla and Bobble with more than 203,300 acres 82,300 hectares and is seen in both varietal wines and blends. Garnacha plays a major role in the Denominación de Origen wines in Aragon, Catalonia and Navarra and the Denominación de Origen Calificada wines of Rioja and Priorat, plus the mountainous areas just southwest of Madrid, Mentrida and Sobreros. Other Spanish wine regions with sizable garnacha plantings include Costas del Segre, Emporta, La Mancha, Madrid, Penides, Simontano, Tarragona and Terra Alta. Aragon Aragon, believed to be the probable origin of the grape, concentrates the largest surface of Grenache or Garnacha as it is called locally in Spain, with 40,034 acres 16, hectares planted. Garnacha is the dominant variety in the region and is typically used to produce single-variety wines. Even though in the mid-20th century Garnacha was considered a workhorse, Variety for large volume wines. In the last 20 years, a new generation of winemakers have taken a new approach by controlling yields, taking advantage of the old vines from 30 to more than 100 years, and applying modern techniques in combination with old traditions to increase concentration. The Dew of Calatayud, 91% of its production is Grenache, holds the highest altitude Garnacha vineyards and is the only Dew to legally define old vines, 35 years minimum. In Campo de Borja, do 30 plus years old Garnacha bush trained vines and manual harvest are common. The grapes are typically slightly raisined, jammy fruit that generates alcohol of 14 to 14.5%. The Cariñena do has the largest surface of Garnacha vineyards in the region with 11,120 acres, 4,500 hectares, many of them old vines. Although many of Simontano do wines are now produced with international grape varieties, some of the oldest high-altitude vineyards are still traditional Garnacha. <inaudible> Rioja In Rioja the grape is planted mostly in the warmer Rioja Baja region located in the eastern expanse of the wine region. Usually blended with tempranilla, garnacha provides juicy fruitiness and added body. In recent years, modern Rioja producers have been increasing the amount of garnacha used in the blend in order to produce earlier maturing and more approachable Riojas in their youth. Garnacha is also used in the pale-colored risottos of Rioja. The vine has a long history in the Navarra region where it has been the dominant red grape variety with nearly 54% of the region's vineyard planted with garnacha. Navarra Compared to neighboring Rioja, the Garnacha-based blends of Navarra are lighter and fruitier, meant for earlier consumption. Priorat Ampelographers believe Garnacha has had a presence in the Priorat region of Catalonia for several hundred years, possibly nearly 800 years, but since the 1990s the region's old Garnacha have garnered much attention. A wave of ambitious young winemakers rediscovered the low yield, bush vine trained Garnacha planted throughout the Licorella brown schist based soils of Priorat. This unique combination of extremely old vines the average age in most vineyards is between 35 to 60 years planted on steep terraces and soil produces very low yields around 5 to 6 hectoliters per hectare which makes Priorat a dense, rich concentrated and dark colored wine with noticeable tannins. The traditional Priorat wine would be almost black in color and require years of aging before it would be approachable to drink. Nearly 40% of all the vineyard land in the Priorat region is planted to Garnacha, and most of the rest is Carignan but the acreage of Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah and Merlot increased before 2000 as modernist producers sought to blend those varieties to add complexity. Some of these new modern style Priorats tend to show softer, blackberry fruit in their youth and over time develop notes of figs and tar. Italy. 
In Italy, Grenache is most commonly found as Cannonau in Sardinia where it is one of the principal grapes in the island's deeply colored, full-bodied red wines that routinely maintain alcohol levels around 15%. The Sardinian DOC wine Cannonau di Sardegna is by law at least 90% local Grenache Cannonau. Grenache is also grown in other Italian regions, under names as Alicante, Tacai Rosso, Granaccia, Vernaccia Nera. Other Old World regions Grenache is also found in Sicily, Umbria in Trasimeno Lake area, Marche called Bordeaux and Calabria. Grenache has been grown in Israel since the 19th century and was once an important grape in the Algerian wine industry. Today there are still some producers in Morocco producing Grenache rosés. Sizable plantings of Grenache are also found in Cyprus and scattered among the Greek islands. Topic Australia A clone from Perpignan arrived in Australia with James Busby in his 1832 collection. More significant was the introduction into South Australia of new cuttings from the south of France, by Dr Christopher Rawson Penfold in 1844. Plantings in South Australia boomed, particularly in McLaren Vale, the Barossa Valley and Clare Valley. Until the mid-20th century, Grenache was Australia's most widely planted red wine grape variety with significant plantings in the vast Riverland region where it was vital component in the fortified, port-style, wines of the early Australian industry. As Australian winemakers started to focus more of premium still wines, Grenache gradually fell out of favour being supplanted by Shiraz and later Cabernet Sauvignon in Australian vineyards. The late 20th and early 21st centuries saw a revival of interest in Grenache with old vine plantings in South Australia being used to produce varietal Grenache as well as a GSM. Grenache, Syrah and Mouvedra blends becoming popular. Varietal Grenache from the McLaren Vale is characterized by luscious richness and spicy notes while Barossa Valley Grenache is characterized by jammy, intense fruitiness. United States In the early California wine industry, Grenache's high yields and alcohol level made it an ideal blending component for jug wine production. Early plantings centered in the hot central San Joaquin Valley, where the grape benefited from its tolerance to heat and drought. It was first used to produce sweet, pale-colored, white Grenache, wines similar in quality and substance to white Zinfandel. The late 20th century saw a revival of interest in the variety spearheaded by the Rhone Rangers movement. These producers imported new cuttings from the Rhone Valley for planting in the cooler Central Coast region for use in the production of premium varietal Grenache and Rhone style blends. Some historic old vine plantings of Grenache in Mendocino County has also garnered interest in recent years. In the early 20th century, Grenache was one of the first Vitus vinifera grapes to be successfully vinified during the early development of the Washington wine industry with a 1966 Yakima Valley Rosé earning mention in wine historian Leon Adams's treatise The Wines of America. Despite its long history, Grenache has been a minor grape variety in Washington but has seen an increase in plantings in recent years due to the Rhone Ranger movement in the state. Older plantings in the Horse Heaven Hills and Columbia Gorge American Viticultural Areas have also begun to attract interest. South Africa Grenache Noir came to the Cape in the 19th century but was only confirmed as such until the early 1900s by a Stellenbosch University professor. While there isn't a lot of Grenache Noir planted in South Africa at only 305 hectares in 2014, many of the 100-plus Grenache-based blends are proving to be very fashionable with winemakers due to South Africa's Mediterranean warm climate, dry land and granitic soils. Other New World wine regions Despite being one of the world's most widely planted red grape varieties, Grenache's colonization of the New World has been limited apart from strongholds in Australia and California. 
The rising popularity and success of the Rhone Rangers movement has brought greater attention to the variety and more plantings of Grenache are popping up every year in places like Mexico, Chile, Argentina, Uruguay and South Africa. Wines <inaudible> 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 Though Grenache is most often encountered in blended wines such as the Rhone wines or GSM blends, varietal examples of Grenache do exist. As a blending component, Grenache is valued for the added body and fruitiness that it brings without added tannins. As a varietal, the grape's naturally low concentration of phenolics contribute to its pale color and lack of extract but viticultural practices and low yields can increase the concentrations of phenolic compounds. Grenache-based wines tend to be made for early consumption with its propensity for oxidation make it a poor candidate for long-term aging. However, producers such as some examples from Chateauneuf du Pape and Priorat who use low yields grown on poor soils can produce dense, concentrated wines that can benefit from cellaring. The fortified Vin du Naturels of France and Australian port style Wines are protected from Grenache's propensity for oxidation by the fortification process and can usually be drinkable for two or three decades. The characteristic notes of Grenache are berry fruit such as raspberries and strawberries. When yields are kept in check, Grenache based wines can develop complex and intense notes of blackcurrants, black cherries, black olives, coffee, gingerbread, honey, leather, black pepper, tar, spices, and roasted nuts. When yields are increased, more overtly earthy and herbal notes emerge that tend to quickly fade on the palate. The very low-yielding old vines of Priorat can impart dark black fruits and notes of figs and tar with many traits similar to the Italian wine Amarone. Risotto or rosé grenaches are often characterized by their strawberry and cream notes while fortified vin du naturels and Australian port style wines exhibits coffee and nutty tawny-like notes. Topic. Synonyms Grenache is known under a variety of synonyms across the globe. These include Abundante, Aliante, Aliente di Rivalto, Aliante Pagirelli, Alicante Blau, Alicante, Alicante Grenache, Aragonese, Bois John, Cananadu, Cananadu Nidu, Cananau, Cananau Selvaggio, Cananazo, Carinane Rosso, Elegante, Francese, Gamay del Trasimeno, Gamay Perugino, Garnaco Negro, Garnacha Commune, Garnacha Negra, Garnacha Roja, Garnacha Tinta, Garnacha Negra, Garnacha Pays, Girone, Granacha, Granaxa, Gren Grenache Noir, Grenache Rouge, Kek Grenache, Yadwiner, Menchita, Navarro, Navarra, Navarre de la Dordogne, Navarro, Negru Calvis, Ranconat, Red Grenache, Redondel, Retaliadu Nidu, Rivisaltz, Roussillon Tinto, Roussillon, Rouvaillard, Sans Pareil, Santa Maria de Alcantara, Tentillo, Tintilla, Tintilla, Tinto Menudo, Tinto Navalcarnero, Ty Rosso, Toledana, Uva di Spagna, and Vernacha. <laughs> 